All right, everybody. All you modern happy humans. Hope everyone's doing fantastic on this day. I would say this fine day, but a couple of uh, my subs have posted videos of snow in the last couple days, and I guess I can't really say nice day for everyone. But, and again, it's all perspective. But anyway, I was going to make a video about a particular subject, which was, well, I'm still going to. This video is going to be about stagnation in the physical realm, causing stagnation in the mental realm. What I mean by stagnation is being stuck in a routine, okay? And just before I came out to do this video, I was wa watching Lobo's video. He was talking about uh, how he ran out of tobacco and he didn't have any money and he mentioned something about addictions on there and I was thinking you know, addictions are one of those funny things you know everyone tries to hide their addictions um, I shouldn't say everyone okay a lot of people try to hide their addictions some people just don't care um, but most people find a certain guilt in their pleasures not all their pleasures but the guilty pleasures like smoking tobacco um, drugs like Lobos have video games, some people have uh, certain shows that they watch, these are all addictions. <clears throat> I don't go as far as to say that any one of them is worse than another. We all, uh, you know, you, if you're an addict, you can't say that a, a cocaine addict is worse off than, uh, say, a television addict, because it would depend on to the degree they're addicted, you know. Uh, <laughs> I would say for the most part that would probably be a valid statement, though. Um, I've been through so many addictions in my life, and I, I thought how interesting to tie that in the addictions that Lobo mentioned with with the video I wanted to make here, which was about about stagnation and how it, because the stagnation causes the addictions. And this is something that I've I've known and, and tried to really express to myself, to, even to myself, to get past, to get over. Um, to understand and realize that when I have a, a notion, a craving for something, whether it's a cigarette or whatever, um, this often comes most frequently when I'm bored or when I'm stuck in a routine that causes me to continuously do that. Say the morning routine of making a cup of coffee. You'll have a cigarette with it, a lot of people do, or just the coffee itself as being an addiction. That's, you know, and a routine. Um, When you're stuck in one place for too long, this is what I've been, and this is really the main focus here, because I want to know how other people deal with this. Um, I'm always looking around at the same stuff, okay? I live at my house. But I haven't, uh, even when I'm out working, uh, if I'm working at a job site, it'll usually be the same place every day, too. So you get there, you set up, you do my routine, whatever it may be, come home. It's very difficult to break away from that monotony, and every day is different. You know, I've got my my family, and and everybody has you know different moments, and different uh, personalities each day. But the house remains the same, and the things that I look at remain the same. When I'm looking out the window, I'm seeing the same trees, <laughs> the same road, and I started you know when I travel, when I go places, and uh, whether I'm on vacation or a road trip or whatever. I always feel energized, and that's why I like to go, maybe go on a drive real quick. So, like when I'm feeling tired. And, and it got me thinking that it's very similar to magnetic fields, uh, in the sense, uh, or I should say, our magnetic fields are very similar to the way that I see, let's say, uh, a plant. If you grow plants, and you've ever grown indoor plants, you know you have to have a fan going at all times because that wind has to be blowing through those leaves or else they start to stagnate and they start to suffocate because they've already used up all the carbon dioxide around the leaves so you have to continue circulating that and, and that's kind of how I feel about the world but we can't circulate the world through us and when we do that through the internet and through television that's what we do we circulate the world through us as opposed to us going out in the world you see and 
it's not the same because your body is not there. And I think that we become very accustomed to these magnetic fields that we live in and we don't even realize how they're affecting us. But um, the old saying, things in motion stay in motion, you know, a body in motion stays in motion. And I think a, a mind, not just in, in mental motion or physical exertion, but actually motion, going from place to place. You know, our ancestors may have lived in tribes in one place for their entire life, sure, but we don't have to do that. You know, we can move around and find a place that suits us. And uh, it's just hard to do because we come so used to our everyday lives. And uh, so it's really hard to gain a foothold in, in the world of, uh, I don't know, seeking something different when you're stagnating and you're stuck at, in one place. Um, and then I see people who travel the world and that visit all these very spiritual places, beautiful mountains and stuff, and I think that's, that's bringing yourself to nature, bringing your spirit out into nature. Um, I try to do it whenever I can, but I don't have the money to travel the world. And that's, you know, I, I, there's another way to look at this because it, some people try to take it to the extent where they want to escape the reality of where they're at, their, whether it be their situation, job, home life, or just <clears throat> themselves. And so they'll travel the world to see things for the sake of moving through the world, and getting that energy, but doing it for the wrong reasons. Not for the experience, but for an escape. And then eventually they find themselves stuck. You know, they have to settle down. They don't really know how to do it. So I guess I'm somewhere in between. You know, I'm, I'm open to travel, but I, I, I get really... I get really sick of stagnating, you know, and being stuck in the same place all the time. And I'm really glad that I have a family to share it with because if I didn't, I'd just be, you know, I can't imagine being a single guy doing the same old thing every day. You could slip into a depression. But anyway, so just taking a walk, I guess, is even, you know, could be a most enlightening experience. I'll think back to the last week I spent at home, let's say, for example, think of a week I spent at home and then I go to a walk to the park one day, and then months later I remember that walk to the park still. You know, I don't remember any of the other days. And I think that's why we have to do things. And this is also goes back to time, how time is relative. You know, if you're continuously doing the same thing and trudging on, time just flies by because, you know, you're not focused. Sometimes you can have time fly by when you are f extremely focused. It's just... <laughs> uh, nothing's black and white, is it? Take it easy, everybody.